the start of the movie is set in 2003 when the conflict in Afghanistan is going on simultaneously with the war in Iraq and um, it stretched uh, the news uh, cable news channel that she works for thin and then she's presented with the opportunity of listen like we need all hands on deck does anybody want to go to Afghanistan and you have the chance to be on camera and Kim in the movie is a person who's a little bit bored with her job and and a little bit stuck in her life and just says yeah I'll go and she ends up going to Kabul where she's never been expecting to stay for three months and she ends up staying for three plus years and she really finds a much more exciting adrenaline filled life for herself there covering stories, but also um, kind of living like a 20-year-old again <laughs> in what is basically a frat house. When Kim first gets to, to Kabul, she doesn't really know the lay of the land. She's, she's a novice at being an on-air correspondent. She's trying to cover that. She's definitely a novice for the kind of sex, drugs, and, and rock and roll lifestyle that's going on in the fun house. And she meets uh, Margot's character, Tanya, who is in a lot of ways her idol, this really badass, uh, you know, British correspondent um, who's fearless and gorgeous. And, and Tanya kind of takes, uh, takes Kim under her wing and, and teaches her a lot of bad things. As soon as Kim lands on the ground, she's assigned a fixer, uh, which is an Afghan gentleman named Fahim in the book, played by Chris Abbott, um, and uh, a security guard who's played by Steve Peacock, and uh, he's uh, like a just like big burly uh, Kiwi gentleman um, who's super handsome and uh, and inexplicably, yeah, is also also because there's no other women there, uh, is kind of hitting on Kim as well. Billy Bob Thornton is such a great actor, and I think the credit to getting him to do this movie go, probably goes to John and Glenn, because they worked with him before. They wrote Bad Santa, which he was so fantastic in, so they have a relationship. And I think also some credit goes to, to Robert's script, because Billy read it and uh, you know, apparently liked it enough to uh, want to come out here. I just am a big fan of his going you know, all the way back to, to the British office. Up through Fargo. He just has that perfect um, sense of humor to play this guy who like is can be a little jerk uh, but you also kind of root for him and like him. You know, I think that's a that's a, a unique quality to have. He has such a depth and warmth to him and such a soulful quality that I I, I think he's excellent and I think he's He's making that relationship so plausible and so full. John and Glenn really seem like the perfect fit because they have their comedy writers as their background. I mean, I know them as, like originally the guys who wrote Bad Santa, which is a hilarious, hilarious movie. And they've gone on to make these beautiful films because they're also are they're art school guys. You know, they both went to Pratt and um and they have this beautiful visual sense that you see in I Love You, Philip Morris, and you see it in uh, Focus, you know, they're, they're these lush uh, pictures that they create. And so they just seemed like a really good fit.